for any building to be functional. To be effectively functional, ventilation is key for any building to achieve that purpose. Hence, ventilation is the introduction of outdoor air into a particular space. When we talk of poor ventilation, poor ventilation is therefore the opposite of outdoor air into a particular space. Therefore, poor ventilation means the opposite of what? Proper ventilation. It's a general saying that if education were expensive, try ignorance. The rich has died like mere men. The poor has been lowered into the grave as fools, all because of ignorance, because they are not aware of the danger that poor ventilation can pose. We'll talk of poor ventilation. It is a menace, like I told you earlier. It's a menace that should be avoided just like a pandemic. It kills slowly. Enjoy its convenience. It will struggle for life, it will struggle for existence, it will struggle for bread. Because it is not in a situation, in an environment that suits it. Therefore, man as well, living in a poor ventilated environment, live in a place where he struggles for survival. This will make me to tell you the story of my friend, my IMG friend, who was eager to own an apartment. A beautiful day he said, Zef, the real estate guy called me and he compelled me to make payment for the building. I already made the payment. I visited the building two days ago and I could see for myself that the building is really beautiful, aesthetically pleasing. I would love you to see it next weekend. Will you join me? As a friend, you know, I won't refuse such offer. Lo and behold, we got to the building. It was really mind-blowing on the opposite. Allow my reason was that I observed that the, poor, the plan was poorly designed. I began to wonder who designed this structure. He said I should never mind that since it's not the one that constructed the structure, he has nothing to worry about that much. Since he's going to stay, he said, in his word, he said, I'm going to be staying here already for the next two years. And I think that won't be bad. I will manage for the next two years. And after two years, I'm out there two years. Is that not too much for you to risk your life and die like a chicken? Thereafter, I raised another alarm. What of this window size and height? The windows are too structured you have here. The sizes are too small compared to the space. The wall and the window ratio are, are not perfect. They are not key. He said, don't worry. I have the air conditioners. I think they are going to, they are going to see me through. You just put your mind at rest so that the, uh, the air, conditions, air conditioners have got me covered. I love within me, air conditioners. How long do you want to use that? Thereafter, we moved around the building. Entering into the kitchen, I observed, what? Wow, this is the window type you have here. Sliding window in this choke space. I would have loved you to even request for replacement of this window for the sake of your head. You know, when you cook here, you have a stuffy environment, it's going to be stuffy, you won't be able to cook because if it were to be a casement window, it will give you at least 75% aeration compared to this 50% aeration sliding window you have. He said, never mind, I'm going to use the smoke extractor. Getting into the building, 
I said, Fred, could you observe that the fence, the setback from your fence to the building is poor? It's less than 600 mm. Can you observe it? He said, Oh, Z, you complain too much. I told you I will manage this structure. I said, Friend, hands off. I won't complain any longer. I just wish you good stay in this building and that your health don't deteriorate before you come up. He said, I pray so too. Thereafter, we continue. the structure, my friend began to experience rashes on his skin. He bought dusting powder to no avail. It began, it was persistent and it became something he was nursing every now and then. After that, he, he observed short root came in. Short root came in. He began to nurse short root. Later, he said he's having poor sleep. Eventually, from plus poor sleep, it resulted into fatigue, dizziness, headache, every now and then. But after a while, I received a, a call. I was told my friend collapsed. Collapsed? How come? He did stress himself? Has he been engaging in a strenuous activity? What might have caused the collapse? Getting to the hospital, the doctor said, your friend has been struggling for bread. I don't know what he has been engaging himself in, but he has been struggling for bread for a long while. And I'm afraid he might be having some respiratory complications. And if he's not careful, if care is not taken, it might result to respiratory disorder. We need to discuss what are the causes of poor ventilation, what are the possible effects, and how can we solve the problem in case or paraventure we have been engulfed in one. One of the major causes of poor ventilation is what? Proper or improper design. Improper or poor design. What do we mean by poor design? When the professional in charge of your building fail to inculcate ventilation parameters into the structure, it is going to tell on the occupant of the structure. One of the major reasons why we have poor ventilation issue is because we have long disregarded building laws and regulation. There are bylaws for building. There are certain bylaws that are in place and put in place by governments, government officials to ensure that we live in good and an healthy environment. But because of disobedience, because of healthiness, because of what we call to be smart or clever, we run into problems that therefore terminate our life. Why will you run into problems with your money? It's advisable we comply to all building regulations so that we'll be on the safer side and we will and we would not post problem to our health. Another thing Another one is use of impermeable material. There are some there are some materials that does not allow the intake of oxygen. They are so blocked to the extent that they don't allow free flow of oxygen into a particular space. So as much as you have such material in your building, you are entrapped or engulfed in the risk of limited flow of air in Another one is poor setback. Poor setback means improper or inadequate space between one structure and another. And when you have such situation, you have limited flow of air around the building. And when you have limited flow of air around the building, it is it definitely means that it's limited quantity of air that will enter into your building too. Another one is use of wrong type of window. At some particular space, because of our taste for aesthetic, because of our 
of our desires to have to use beautiful components to confine ourselves to problems that can affect our ventilation. One of them is using a wrong window type in a wrong window position. What did I mean by that? At it is well known that some certain windows ask the percent of air it can give you. For casement window, it is known to give you nothing less than 75% aeration. Sliding window will give you 50% aeration. And when you have louvre window, it will give you above 80%, even to 90% aeration. But because we love a particular type of window, because one is beautiful than the other, we we'll therefore entrap ourselves in poor ventilation and this can be alarming. If you notice the space you have already is posing threat to your ventilation already, therefore use material that will allow good intake of air and you will enjoy the amount of thermal comfort you should have in a building. Some would not know that there are roofing standards that are meant to be followed. At times because of financial implications of some materials, we therefore reduce the grade of specifications. And this can be a direct, a direct danger as the sun itself is radiating on the roofing material. And if the material is not strong enough to withhold the intensity of the sun, it therefore pulls down that energy below the building. And once it comes into the building, you are entrapped with it. And this can limit the amount of air you have in the building. The signs you begin to see that will make you know you have a new tenant. Don't forget the new tenant is Mr. Poor Ventilation. The first sign you begin to see is that you have inadequate fresh air in the building. And whenever you have inadequate fresh air in the building, it will generate to strong odor. That is two. And after you have strong odor, one thing about strong odor is that you may not even notice it after you have been in that, in that space for a while. You will have been used to that smell and you may not even be able to trace it again. You will need fresh people entering into that building and they will help you dictate. After you begin to experience strong odor, you begin to notice you have heat build up, heat build up within that, within that space. And when you have heat build up, it will degenerate into sweating window. When you, what do I mean by sweating window? Have you observed even in your vehicles that when you have, you are in a raining season, maybe you are in rain, and you, did not dis and you decide not to open your window and also not to on your air conditioner. You begin to notice that your windows in, the, in your vehicle will begin to sweat, will begin to emit something like fog, something like a cloudy appearance on your window. This is the same appearance you begin to see on all your windows within the building. And after that, you begin to see uh, uh, moisture on your on, on various surfaces of your building. You begin to see moisture around, on woods, on uh, surfaces, and this will be sending signals to you that you have an unwanted tenant already in your apartment. Aside from that, you begin to see mud appearance on walls, on other surfaces of the building. It begins to become irritating, it begins to become unattractive, I begin to see signs of rust on some mechanical appliance, mechanical uh, pipings and uh, plumbing works around the building. We discussed about the effects, the causes of poor ventilation, the signs of poor ventilation. Let's look at the effects of poor ventilation. You observe from the little picture I painted about my friend that his intention, his good intention, put him into trouble. It's not a bad idea that you live in a good space. It's not a bad idea for you to have an, an, a nice environment, a nice apartment. It's a bad idea when your building becomes 
unfunctional and a threat to your effect of poor ventilation is low level of oxygen when you have limited oxygen within your space it then poses threat to the oxygen you are in, you are you are enjoying as man as well so and whenever you are your oxygen level is being threatened it reduces the amount of oxygen you have around and within you and this can be a major threat to your health another thing is that you begin to lose sleep and if any human being starts losing sleep it's a dangerous signal that something wrong is about to happen another thing you begin to experience is fatigue dizziness tiredness you become lethargic you become weak you become dizzy you are always prone to tiredness you experience fatigue at different occasions at constant occasion it's a sign that poor ventilation is getting rooted in you one of the experience you have is watery and itchy eyes your eyes begin to get water begin to look pale you begin to you have reddish side uh, red eyes people begin to ask you what's happening to you your eyes is red and this these are signals that you are getting to the prime of poor ventilation effect and one of the more dangerous effect of poor ventilation is shortness of breath at this stage is becoming is getting rooted in you is eating you up and is getting to the tama to the as soon as you subscribe you be able to receive or enjoy any of my video now or in future as soon as I release them I'll be able to watch and get impact and insight about things related to your building this I want you to also do for me like share and don't forget comment below your the parts that you have been able to listen to the parts that you have been able to learn from and that which you think you still want to know more about ventilation you can go in the comment section put it there and let us receive don't forget the next video promise to set you on track and you will be able to live like a baby in your building without any worries of poor ventilation without any stress of for ventilation and you'll be able to enjoy the old thermal comfort you have been missing all this while thank you for watching this video we'll see you again in the next video